thing we see here on the left is a DC-3, which was very new in 1939 when the airport was begun. Uh, that is when the airport was open, uh, because the DC-3 had just come out in 1935. The little airplane we just saw in a fleeting glimpse there was a Stinson, one of the first airplanes that was sold at the airport. You can still see Stinson Road in the vicinity of the airport near the Reading Boat Works today. Now we have sky riding. This is not the kind of sky riding they do today, uh, which uses a nice um, smoke generator. Uh, in these days, they simply uh, fed some oil into the hot exhaust manifold and uh, it burned like uh, burning oil in your car. Here is a parachutist, which was really a big treat back in 1939. And that's an auto gyro. I think we have two different kinds here. The uh, one without a wing would be the Sierra or Pitcairn, which was made in uh, Pennsylvania down near Philadelphia. This airplane, we may never know what it is, but it was a something that uh, was built between the Wright brothers' first flight and uh, World War One. Now we're looking at some early aerobatics. Not half as fancy as what they do these days with hopped up airplanes. naval biplanes. Uh, you can tell the Navy planes of the day by the three vertical red, white, and blue stripes on the rudder. Uh, we may see, there's the uh, Navy plane going by. Uh, when you see one with a uh, bunch of uh, horizontal stripes, that'll be an Army plane. That lead airplane in the series of three was a Grumman Duck, an amphibian that came out in 1934. It, like this DC-3, was the latest state-of-the-art thing to bring out and show off at the opening of the airport. United Airlines was the first airline to order and use the DC-3. I believe Bob corrected himself and said it was the American Airlines. Remarkably good exposure for that older film and ha using a handheld light meter. Some more aerobatics. out of oil you can all that smoke all that sky riding these aerobatics incidentally did not start out as a fun thing they uh, came into being as uh, evasive maneuvers in World War one when airplanes first started shooting at each other
plane bouncing around is an early piper, and the prop pilot is showing you how easy it is to pick it up by the tail and walk around with it. <laughs>